Tonight, these four chairs will be filled by some of the most eligible celebrity bachelors in America, and they will each pick one lucky woman to take out on a dream date. But they'll have to choose using only the sound of her voice. Welcome to The Choice. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Kat Dealey. This is The Choice, where dreams do come true. Four of the world's most desirable bachelors each choose a woman to date, and that date happens tonight. Are you excited? <laughs> Here they are. It's bachelor number one. After signing a record deal at the age of five, this music prodigy's first two albums went multi-platinum. He's appeared in dozens of films, starred in his own TV show, and now fronts the band Rescue Three. meet our next bachelor. This skiing legend won three world championships and 11 World Cup gold medals. He went on to play in the NFL and in his spare time, he modeled for Abercrombie and Fitch and started the charity Wish of a Lifetime. He is currently an internet entrepreneur and a sports broadcaster. Say hello to Jeremy Bloom. Hello, Jeremy. You're looking forward to meeting all these gorgeous ladies? Absolutely. Okay, let's meet our third talented guy. This Emmy-nominated actor won fans and melted hearts in his years on Days of Our Lives and for the past four years has heated up daytime TV as the rebellious Dr. Matt Hunter on General Hospital. Please welcome a hottie who's a little bit naughty. It's Jason Cook. <laughs> I'm just really distracted right now because I'm about to pick you to go on my date with. Otherwise engaged, but I do know that there are lots of beautiful, beautiful women back there. Got it. Okay, it's time to meet our fourth and final guy. Are you ready? Take a look. He's become a household name since starring in Jersey Shore. Now he's the star of his own hit show and has a record deal with 50 Cent. Last summer he toured with Britney Spears and Nicki Minaj, but right now he's all ours. Pump your fist for DJ Paulie D. meet lots of beautiful single women and each of you gets to pick three for your dating pool. With your chairs facing away, each woman will have just 30 seconds to tell you why she would be the perfect date. If she convinces you before time's up, you pull your <clears throat> love hand off. Is everybody ready? Let's turn the chairs. Okay. 30 seconds on the clock. Say hello to Rachel. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. I'm so excited. Hey, y'all, I'm from North Carolina. I love hanging out with my 96 year old grandma. I'm cute, I'm sweet, I'm innocent. Um, you gonna do that? You know, I'm a cutie with a booty. Huh? I'm a cutie with a capital Q. <laughs> Jeremy? Jeremy? You're not gonna wanna miss this. <laughs> and you might wanna turn around. Oh! Oh! I don't know. <laughs> okay, two guys turned around. We have Jeremy and Jason. So, so why? So why is because when you talked about your grandmother, it means that you're probably into taking on some of her wisdom, and I think that's an awesome attribute, and that's something I'm interested in. Really? Yeah. This is like some proper flirting. Okay. Jeremy, was it, was it the begging that finally got to you? <laughs> Not at all. She, she had me with the 96-year-old grandmother. One of the reasons I came on the show, I started a charity to grant wishes to uh, 80, 90, and 100-year-old people. I figured you might like that. And <laughs> she got my heart with that one. Oh, my goodness. Hearts have just melted. Well, what are we going to do? Um, eeny, meeny. OK. It's highly intellectual, oh, this okay, decision so process. <laughs> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy! Congratulations! 
Congratulations, Jeremy. I didn't want to get in the middle of it. I know, I, I appreciate that. Let's take a bow. It's Rachel, ladies and gents. Head off that way, my darling. Thank you, sweetie. OK, please welcome Elise. Why should I spin records on the weekend, so I'm as at least cool as Polly D. I got an underground <laughs> rap album like, like Rome, so I can do that too. <laughs> and I can teach you how to ski. I'm the life of the party, I'm the DJ, I control the show, and that's my way to your hot through my music. Oh. Polly D, let me ask you, do you know her name? I'm sorry? <laughs> I do like what Jeremy said about skiing and stuff like that. I mean, I would definitely love to learn how to ski. Um, I do like a guy that remembers my name <laughs> and listens, but the thing is that I really do love music and I love to have a good time, so I think Polly. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Elise. She's on Team Tony B. Chicago, Illinois. I have beauty and brains. I work as a model and I'm going to school to study English education to be school. a high school English teacher. School. I am very exotic looking. I have green eyes, long brown hair, very nice legs, and I know if you pick me, we'll have a great time. So if you guys don't pick me, you're missing out. You, you left it right till the very last minute there. Because she said, if you don't pick me, you're missing out. I mean, like... Oh, yeah. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's admitting it. You are now on Team Romeo, so you Woo! carry on through the rest of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please ask together for Lisa. And if you'd like to leave the stage for me, well done, sweetie. Well done, Romeo. OK, time for our next contestant. 30 seconds on the clock. This is Lisa. Hey, guys. I am the ultimate California girl. I got blonde hair, blue eyes, tan skin, and killer legs and a killer smile. I'm a choreographer and a professional dancer. I just appeared in the last two music videos for Jennifer Lopez and Kelly Clarkson. 15 I'm seconds. also a fitness instructor. I am a virgin waiting for that one special guy. So I want to show you my moves. So turn around and make you do that, Pauly D. <laughs> it's all you. You don't get to push that twice. I didn't push it twice. I saw you push that twice. Two guys turn around, Pauly D Damn. and Jason. I was very excited when she said she's a dance choreographer because I might not be as proficient at dancing <laughs> as these gentlemen. <laughs> But I'm open to learn. Not only does she dance, but she's a choreographer, so she knows what she's doing. No, what's That's the good. real reason? That's the reason. So now the ball is in your court. All right, well... Who I, do you think? I have this thing I gotta see first. Which of you is the better dancer? Oh. Uh, I'm in nice. the club a lot. <laughs> She's on Team Jason, thank you. OK, say hello to Amber. OK, you've got 30 seconds. Hey, guys. I am a fashion 
assistant from Arkansas and a pageant girl as well. I've been in over 100 pageants and hold many titles. So I was also grown up on a farm, a small one at that. So I know how to bull ride, goat tie, <laughs> trail race. And as a pageant girl, I've been taught the walk Five and the talk. So turn around and I'll show you my other talents. Ooh. who turns around there, and, and I think I noted this right, it was when you talked about bull riding. <laughs> <laughs> it was farms. I grew up in Colorado yeah. in a small oh, town. Of course so. it was. Yeah. How silly of I me. like farm girls. Because you you're a farm girl, right, of course. Let's hear it for Amber. She's on Team Jeremy. We'll see you later on in the show. Thank you, Amber, if you want to go down there, please. OK, next, the guys round out their dating pools with even more beauties. Later, the really hard part as the guys start making tough choices about who will stay and who will go. All coming up on The Choice. Hello there and welcome back to The Choice, the only show that gives single women the chance to win a dream date with one of America's most eligible bachelors. Right now, we're in the blind choice round where each of our celebrity guys chooses three women sight unseen. Are you ready for some more ladies? Let's turn the chairs. Ladies and gents, say hello to Naya. from Atlanta and a former collegiate volleyball player. If I could describe myself in two words, it would be all legs. But that's definitely not my only asset. Some women like to be the receiver, but I definitely enjoy giving. Um, my perfect idea of a date would be... <laughs> my perfect idea of a date night would be to stay at home, watch a game, let me cook you dinner, serve you beer, and I assure you that I would definitely keep you satisfied. <laughs> Right then. You know what? I liked her voice. She plays volleyball. I mean, she takes care of herself. She sounded hot, and she's right. I heard her voice. It was like an angel, you yeah. know? She's beautiful. This is better than looking at a Picasso. Right? Okay, and Jason. Romeo had flipped that thing before she even said anything, so. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she said dinner, and so I turned around. <laughs> I mean, my grandmother always told me that you need to cook with the woman that you're going to marry because that's love. <laughs> Who, who are you going to pick? This is hard. This is very, very Why? hard. Why? They all made me blush. Uh, oh. Very sweet. You guys are all really, really hot. I am definitely going to go with... Jason. <laughs> with Jason! Good work! OK. Please put your hands together for it. She's on Jason's team! <laughs> Thank you. Did all right, my dude. Say hello to Ashley. Chuck Norris. I also Talking have brains. I graduated high school seconds. a year and a half early. I was on the debate team. I was also oh, in student right government. And you should pick me so I can show you Kitty well, Kitty. Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> These boys are picky. Did you not? <laughs> that she's called Kitty Kickbutt. Kitty Kickbutt. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't understand that part. I have a superhero alter ego named Kitty Kickbutt, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Well, you, you might want to hang around and kick their butts afterwards for not picking you. Right? Please put your hands together for Ashley. She really was gorgeous. And thank you for coming on the show, Ashley. Head off that way for me. Let's turn the chairs. This is Elizabeth. You 
should pick me because I have brains and booty. <laughs> I graduated magna cum laude from college, and I'm also pursuing my doctorate in physical therapy. My love of learning definitely came from my mom. I'm also a classically trained dancer, so I love getting a party started on the dance floor. I'm super fun and energetic. I've got a great smile. I, uh, people say they like my hair. I think I have a great sense of humor, too, and I love to make people Romeo, laugh. And I definitely have my PhD in melting Turn hearts. Let me melt about? yours. Turn it around. Tell me, tell me, wh wh why? How would we all the be compatible? How would we get along? I think she's into the same things I'm into. She's got a sense of humor, like she said. She likes dancing. Um, beautiful. Yep. If you can graduate <laughs> magna cum laude, that is, uh, that's really impressive. When you said that you had graduated magna cum laude, and obviously you're a little bit of intellectual, mm -hmm. that appeals to me. And so I was like, wow, that's a girl I'd like to meet. OK. All right, good. OK. <laughs> so go on, who are you going to go for? <laughs> um, this is so hard. But um, I definitely think I have to go with the first person who said that they liked my intellect, which is Jeremy. You have your three girls, Jeremy. Congratulations. <laughs> Team Jeremy is now complete. Let's hear it for Elizabeth, everybody. If you want to leave the stage right now. I like smart chicks. Please welcome Anna Puna. Hi, y'all. I am from Nashville, Tennessee, and yes, I am a musician. <laughs> I have been likened to like a Princess Jasmine from the South. I am half Indian and half white, and I've got gigantic eyes. I am in a folk, folk band and a raunchy rock band, and I'm pretty adventurous. And Romeo, if you don't turn around, I'm going to start saying some Shakespeare at you. <laughs> um, I'm pretty adventurous. I can't go and with the I will always try everything at least once. <laughs> oh. I don't do well with being threatened, you know? <laughs> That's not a threat. I, I don't think that was a threat. It wasn't going to work out right there. You know? <laughs> she was about to speak the words of love to you. Oh, that, that's what that was? Why? Yes. See, I've been turned down twice, so, you know, I'm kind of... My self-esteem's pretty low right now, okay. you know? <laughs> OK, so Paulie D and Jason turned around. What are we thinking? Well, how about you each give me, like, three words that describe yourself? Fun, <laughs> absolutely. Ambitious and trustworthy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Paulie D. <laughs> Jason? Film geek, mm -hmm. book nerd, but put them together so it's only one word. So who are you going to go for? Um, that you consider yourself trustworthy, Polly D. Thank you. But I am going to go with the film geek nerd. Oh. Film. OK, Jason. You're going to go with Jason. You're going to be on Jason's team. OK, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Anna Puna. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. OK. She was cute. Jason darling, has all out. three girls now on his team. Welcome our new lady. It's Donna. <laughs> in Romania. I have a beautiful European look to me. And if, I, if you take me out on a date, I will let you know how amazing you are in Romanian. And that means that people think I look like a doll. I'm fun, seconds. I'm intelligent, outgoing, and you guys will have a great time with me. I'm awesome. Turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Pully D did turn around. What was it that made you turn around, sir? For me, she has the same name as my mother, Donna. And you're supposed oh, to date somebody that reminds you of your mother, that you would treat your mother. There we are. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for Donna. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Head off that way for me, sweetie. Thank you. Let's turn the chairs. Put your hands together for Vanessa. for 10 years. 
I am Italian, Tahitian, and a little bit Mexican. You did it. You did it. You had an easy about 10 seconds. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, uh, well, don't be. You got me at volleyball. You know, me uh, being a college athlete, playing basketball, I love a woman that's in the sports. And yeah. I love Italian women, too. You know, I love Italian food. She's beautiful, too. I'm happy I turned her around. Um, both Italian. I'll have a good time. Uh, <laughs> and um, He's really think... tan. He's really tan. Yeah, really, really tan, tan and I have nice hair. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Vanessa, out of the two, which one are you more physically attracted to? Oh, my Oof. god. Go on. Can I just take you both? No! Greedy. <laughs> Who are we going for? You are hilarious. I Thank watch you. your show. You just seem like an awesome guy. Thank you. Athletic. I love it. I'm going with Romeo. Romeo! Romeo! Congratulations to Romeo. Thank you. We'll see you later on. Thank you, my darling. Please welcome Angeline. a bombshell with a body like Jessica Rabbit. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Five foot nine, legs for days, long caramel brown hair, big green eyes. One of the few girls that can say I was not only prom queen, I was the salutatorian at my high school. Both guys have turned around, congratulations. So we've got Romeo and Paulie D. Paulie D, what made you turn your chair? Uh, she's a comedian, I like to laugh. From New yeah. York City, East Coast swag, I feel you. I, the first thing I heard, she said she was a comedian. You know, I love somebody who loves to laugh and can make me laugh as well. Uh -huh. And she was the prom queen, you know? You can't Absolutely. go wrong with the prom and queen. And salutatorian. That's what I'm talking too. about. <laughs> I'm right here, waiting. OK, so who are you going to go for? Um, you know, Polly, I feel you on the East Coast thing, but I feel like, um, Romeo, I feel like you've got more soul going on, and I want to find out more about that. We're going to bring out two women for you to choose from. Each one will have just 15 seconds to win you over. You must pick one of the two. Uh oh. Welcome, Asia and Elitza. Here they come. Our gorgeous girls. Okay, ladies, it's time to convince Paulie D why he should choose you. Go. Hi, Polly. I'm Asia. Um, I'm not Asian, though. I'm actually Italian. I'm a Gemini. Um, I'm from the East Coast, living out in California now. Love it. So, yeah, let's have fun. OK, Alyssa, ready, set, go. Hey, Polly. My name's Alyssa. I'm a former calendar girl and sorority president. I love to party. I'm very spontaneous. I love to travel. An example of my spontaneity is I just got a stripper pool in my living room for a new way to exercise. So come join the fun. <laughs> Polly D, before you turn around, tell us which one of these two beautiful women you choose. Is it Asia or is it Alyssa? I'm pleased. Very, very good. Very he good. chose Alyssa. Let's hear it for Alyssa. I'm going to send you okay. off that way. And Asia, thank you so much thank for you. being in. Our celebrity bachelor's dating pools are filled, but next up is the speed choice round where each bachelor must eliminate one woman. The cuts begin when we come back, and trust me, you do not want to miss it. Dazzling Dozen. First up, Team Romeo. We have Lisa. Vanessa. And Angeline. Next up, Team Jeremy. First, Amber. Elizabeth. Here is Team Jason. First of all, we have Lisa. <laughs> 
plenty of great choices, but frankly, you've had it pretty easy so far, but that's about to change. It's time for the speed choice round. You'll have only 15 seconds with each of your three ladies, so make your conversations count. OK, let's turn the chairs. There they go. Ready, set, date. What's your favourite colour? Blue. You what is your relationship like with the family? I thought I was asking the questions, but I love my family. That's good. All right. Great, that's very important. Do you like sports? Love sports. My What's your favourite sport? Basketball. What's yours? Basketball. Perfect. You're made for each God? other. So what was that? Do you believe in God? Yes, definitely. Oh. What is your favorite Amber. thing to do on the farm? Hi, Amber. One of the reasons I picked you is oh, because okay. you're on the farm. <laughs> Show us how to milk a cow. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done on a farm? Um, probably chip throw. <laughs> Get right. You are the most gorgeous man on the face of the planet. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> I would never. What's your favorite country? My favorite country? The yeah. USA. Hello. Awesome. Wow. Well, I just look at that. Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie, Titanic. I'm a bit of a tick licker. What's your favorite thing that you like about me? Uh, smile. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? <laughs> I love everything. Nice. Me too. <laughs> what do you do for fun? I uh, love to party, go outside, go adventures. What about you? Same thing, same yeah. thing, exactly. Perfect match. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you snore? I do, I'm sorry. Dogs or cats? Dogs, definitely. Romeo or Polly D? Romeo, definitely. You was confused earlier. Romeo, I was still with Romeo. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Africa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're Val Victorian, so I gotta test you. Nine times nine. Nine times nine is 81. Oh, nice. <laughs> how close what are you? you? Oh, how okay. close are you with your family? I'm very close awesome. with my family. Me They're me the too. most important part. Definitely. What's the capital of Colorado? Capital of Colorado is Denver. Nice, nice job. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Would you rather eat a bag of hot jalapenos or a beer that someone dropped a cigarette into? Jalapenos. Where, me too. That's amazing. We're perfect. Turn on. Uh, oh, wait, I'm still supposed to go, huh? Yeah. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> I'm shy. Me too. Hi. Uh, who's your favorite DJ? You. <laughs> Good yeah. answer. Um, I would love to cook you a meal. What's your favorite food? I like Italian food. Italian food, awesome. What's your favorite color? Pink. Yeah. What do you wear to bed? Huh? What do you wear to bed? Nothing. I'm commando when I nice. see you. Nice. Tell me a joke. Um, Midgets or elves? What? Midgets or elves? That's a trick question. What's it? <laughs> if you could go anywhere today, right now, where would you go? On a date with you, duh. But where would we go? Um, we could do anything. Uh, horseback riding. What? This is the craziest thing I've ever done. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Cra this. Oh my god, <laughs> so we're so compatible. Aww. <laughs> Do you feel like you're in a spaceship? What country do you want to travel to? Berlin, Germany. Why? Because I love Berlin. What, what it's like grungy sexy. It's probably one of the best cities I've ever been to. Would you describe yourself? To... Have you ever been to Vegas? Yes, and I'm going tomorrow. Yes, I'll be there. 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite DJ? You can't ask that twice. I have but to. you, I guess. All right, right? good. That's, that's the most important thing. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Okay, mine's my birthday. Duh. Nice. <laughs> okay, time is up. Let's hear for them, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, I am sure you've gathered some important information that will help you make this difficult choice. We have to decide who is going home. Welcome back, Romeo's ladies. <laughs> Lisa, Vanessa, and Angelique. Romeo, it's time for your first big decision. Which one of these three beautiful women will not be going out on a date with you tonight? Oh, this is re really difficult right now. Can I just take all three? No, you can't. You need to get <laughs> Vanessa, I wasn't feeling the connection with you, so I'm losing Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, you're going home. Is there anything you would like to say to Romeo before you go? I mean, you missed out. 
You missed that. Right. Ladies and gents, let's hear it for Vanessa. Thank you, darling. Okay, Jeremy, I'm coming to you next. Please welcome Jeremy's ladies. We have Amber, Elizabeth, and Rachel. Okay, Jeremy, this is the tough part, but I need to know who are you sending home? Well, first off, I thought all three of you did a really amazing job, so congratulations on that. Amber, great job milking the cow. I thought you had really good form on that, but I'm going to unfortunately eliminate the beautiful Amber. Okay. Amber, is there anything you'd like to say to Jeremy? Uh, good luck in your future endeavors. Thank That's you. Very good cute. luck to you. As Let's well. hear it for it. It's Amber, everybody. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Okay, Jason, here are Jason's girls. We have Lisa, Naya, and Anna Puna. Okay, you have to now tell me who is going home at this point in the show. You guys all did great, and it was really fun having those long, engaging 15 second conversations with you. <laughs> uh, and that being said, I think, uh, Lisa, we're probably not going to go on a date tonight. Sorry. Oh. Anything you'd like to say to Jason before you go? Next time, baby. <laughs> Next time, baby. Let's hear for Lisa. Thank you, darling. Thank you nice so much. See you. Okay, we are moving on. Let's welcome back Team Pauly D. We have Elise, Donna, and Alyssa. Okay, Pauly D, it is time to bite the bullet. Who is not going out on a date with you tonight? Oof, this is the hardest decision I've had to make in my life. <laughs> they are all gorgeous. They all like music. They have exquisite taste in their favorite DJ. <laughs> um, but if I had to send somebody home, I'm going to have to say... Alyssa, sorry. It's OK. Aww. Well, Alyssa, you are going home to Donna <laughs> and Elise. You continue on on the show. Thank you very much, ladies. You can leave the stage for me. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You've been amazing. Alyssa, everybody. Nice Thank you. you. OK, our handsome bachelors have narrowed down their choices to two women. When we come back, it's time for their final choice round. Each of the guys will choose one woman to take on a dream date. Next up on The Choice. <laughs> Welcome back to The Choice. The guys have each given me a question to ask their two remaining women. This round will determine who goes on a dream date and who goes home. Romeo, you have the choice between Lisa and Angelise. Let's bring out Lisa. OK, you have the chance to win a date with multi-platinum recording artist Romeo, here is the question that Romeo wanted me to ask you. In the Shakespeare play, Juliet died for her Romeo. Romeo wants to know, what's the most impressive thing you've ever done for love? Well, um, I was in a long-term relationship and I took him on a vacation to Jamaica and we just had a great time together. And um, yeah, we just had a lot of fun, so. Okay, dream holiday. Now please welcome out Angelique. Now, I know you've been backstage with headphones. Yes. You haven't heard her answer, so I'm going to ask you the same question once again that Romeo asked me to ask you. What's the most impressive thing you've ever done for love? Okay. Um, once I flew all the way from LA to Boston to spend six hours with the guy that I was seeing just to go to dinner with him. Yeah. Just for six <laughs> hours. OK, That's let's good. hear it for Angelique. Good answers by both ladies, but Romeo, it's decision time. Which one of these two women will you be taking out on a date tonight? You have yeah. 10 seconds to decide. Turn the chair. What do the crowd, what do y'all think? <laughs> Okay, come on up here, quick as you can. It is 
it's time for you to make your final choice. Well, both of y'all are very beautiful, especially up close and personal. <laughs> I love that you flew out for your man. I love that you booked an amazing trip for your man. I love green eyes. Y'all both have green eyes. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with... Go over there, uh, sit on your chair. Let's hear it for Romeo and Lisa, our first couple of the night. Jeremy, it's your turn to make a choice between Elizabeth and Rachel. Please welcome Elizabeth. OK, Elizabeth, you have the chance to win a date with Jeremy Bloom. Your answer to this question will determine whether you're going out on a date whether you're going home. Jeremy is an adrenaline junkie who loves skydiving. Jeremy wants you to describe the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your life. That's really tough. I've never been skydiving and I promise I would never, but if you wanted to do it, like, oh my God, I would do it. I would definitely do it. That would be really awesome. <laughs> okay, let's do it for Elizabeth. Great answer. Thank you, Elizabeth. If you can just go and wait over there for me. Let's see how Rachel answers. Let's welcome her back. OK. Oh, deep breaths, Rachel. Jeremy wants you to describe the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your life. OK. I haven't done many things, Jeremy. But this right now is like a pretty crazy thing that I've done. And I'm just really proud that I'm here right now, like putting myself out there. And I'm happy that I got this far and had a chance to like, you're like a really cool dude. So. <laughs> and it's been very cool having you here. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Rachel. Go and stand over there for me, my sweetie. So two very different answers. Uh, Jeremy, which one of these two women will you be taking out on a date tonight? You have 10 seconds to decide. Let's turn the chair. Okay, time's up. Oh, he's, he's up and he's out. I haven't even had to invite you up here. Oh. Go for it. So, so Rachel, I, I love your personality. You're totally goofy like me, and yeah. you like laughing at yourself. You have this cool kind of like Taylor Swift vibe going about you, which is, which is awesome. Elizabeth, you're super smart. You're going to do amazing things in the world. It's obvious. You're ambitious, and you're beautiful as well. Both of you are, uh, are really, really great. But I'm going to, I'm going to go with Taylor Swift over here. Oh, Elizabeth, come on over here. You were amazing, my darling. Absolutely brilliant. Congratulations to Rachel. Go get them. Oh Thank you, guys. So you are going out on a date tonight. OK, Jason, you're about to make a choice between Naya and Anna Puna. Please welcome back Naya. Hi, Naya. OK, Naya, you have the chance to date the actor and <laughs> soap opera heartthrob Jason Cook. This yeah. is the moment of truth for you. I'm going to give you a question, and it depends on your answer, whether you go home or whether you go out on a dream date. Okay. Jason Cook plays Dr. Matt Hunter on General Hospital. Jason would like to know, if he came to you with a broken heart, what would you prescribe to heal it? Um, I would have to say a little coffee for your cream. <laughs> She came out here and she was so nervous and shaking, and then she just zapped it up. That was great. Okay. Welcome back, Jason's second lady. It's Anna Puna. <laughs> Hi, Anna Puna. Okay. Here is your question. Jason would like to know 
if he came to you with a broken heart, <laughs> what would you prescribe to heal it? Okay, probably a lot of chocolate. Huh? And... <laughs> that you find something awesome to do that day, like an adventure? Okay, good. Uh, Let's hear for Annapurna. I'm gonna stand you over there. Thank you, sweetie. Jason? Cat? Quite interesting answers, I think those were. Yes, right? quite peculiar. Jason loves coffee, like loves it. <laughs> Jason, it's time for Jason's big decision, and we'll hear about it right after the break. Hello there, welcome back to The Choice. Romeo and Jeremy have chosen their date. Now it's time to find out who Jason will be taking out tonight. Will it be Naya? Or will it be Anna Buna? You have 10 seconds to decide. Okay, time's up. Jason, head on over. We need to know just who is your final choice. Ladies. This has been the most awkward blind date I've ever been on. <laughs> this is just really weird. I'm just going to get over with. Anna Pura, it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> Naya, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Guys, yes. you're off out on a hot date. Excited? 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 Hell, yeah. Hell yeah, ready for it? Let's do this. OK, head on over back to your chairs and we'll send you out later. Thank you. Poorly. Now, you have to make a choice between Elise and Donna. Elise is up first. OK, Elise, you have the chance to win a date with the hottest DJ in America, <laughs> DJ Paulie <Dick. laughs> This is the question he asked me to ask you. On Jersey Shore, Paulie D lives with a whole bunch of his friends, and some of them are beautiful girls. Paulie wants to know, do you think it's possible for men and women to be just friends? I absolutely do agree that okay. women and men could definitely be friends, but there is a certain extent. <laughs> Where it comes to that level, you know who you're with, you know that that's your man, you know that you will be able to trust that person. I like it. Thank you, Elise. Great answer. If you could just go and wait over there for me. Let's call out Donna. Hi, Donna. Hello. OK, I have a question here for you from yeah. Paulie. Paulie wants to know, do you think it's possible for men and women to be just friends? OK, I definitely think that it is possible for guys and girls to be friends. We are human, so we do have feelings, but sometimes you just don't mesh with somebody, so it's definitely understandable if you're not in love with everybody you see. And just because a couple strangers live in a house or a couple people live in a house and they're friends doesn't mean that they're going to have, you know, feelings for each other. So it's definitely possible to just be friends, yeah. OK. Thank you very much indeed. If you could go and wait over there for me. Perfect. Yeah, you've done three. You did great. Fully, it's all down to you to make your choice. Which one of these two women will you be taking out on a date tonight? Will it be Elise or will it be Donna? You have 10 seconds to decide. <laughs> OK. Time's up. Come on, Pulley D. Head on up here. I need you to make your final choice. I can't take all this pressure. Come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is a hot decision, but I got to be honest. Um, if you look up my type in the dictionary, it's a great big picture of Elise. <laughs> <laughs>
Well done, you guys. Excited? Yeah. Hey, head on over. You've got your time. Congratulations to our couples. They are off out on a hot date tonight. It's been a crazy night out of last. Thanks to our fantastic bachelors and to all of our beautiful ladies. And thanks to you for watching the show where dreams and dream dates really do come true. Good night. Come back next week to see what happened on each of these dates and watch four new celebrity bachelors looking for love. All that next week on The Choice.